All right. So, pressure is the first variable that we are going to define because gas can be compressible and it generates pressure. So, <coughs> pressure is, I mean, it is, you can define force by area. Pressure equals force divided by area. SI unit, Newton per meter square. Meter square, or you can call one Pascal. PA is a symbol for Pascal. One standard atmosphere equals hundred and one three two five Pascal. And when you convert, let's say one atmosphere equals 716 millimeters of mercury. We are talking about all those units. 760 torr. So those are units. Okay. So now we have a question that how do we measure? This is millimeters is a length unit. And how do we measure pressure in millimeters? Right? So there is a device, it's called barometer and manometer. So we are going to define both. Okay? So let's start with that. What yes? Is the, what is the last word? Tor. 760 tor. T-O-R-R. T-O-R-R. Tor. Yes. 760 tor. Okay. All right. Next, what we are going to learn about barometer. <coughs> so, barometer is a device. It is a device used to measure atmospheric pressure. device works. So I'm going to draw that. Let's say this is a pan of fluid. We usually use mercury. Okay. And it's filled with mercury here. And, and there is an inverted closed tube when we insert What happened? This fluid can go up, go up inside this tube and just settle here, right? So why this fluid go from here to here? What they do? Due to pressure. And what pressure? Since it's open to atmosphere, that atmospheric pressure presses this fluid inside it and that's why it's raised, right? So, that height, that height from here to here, that height is 760 millimeters of mercury and that is for standard atmospheric 
pressure standard atmospheric pressure so what in what principle it follows so what happened in this device mercury flows out of the tube until the pressure of column of mercury standing on the surface of mercury in a dish or pan is equal to air pressure i'm going to write here equal to air pressure and that's how we measure millimeters of mercury that's why we have a unique millimeters of mercury so barometer follows this principle okay now let's talk about manometer. What is the manometer and how we use it? Okay. So manometer is a device. I mean, I go to next one. No, no. Okay. Haven't finished yet. So we'll go for manometer later on, and then we'll work on pressure calculations okay all right so let's go next manometer manometer it is a device used for Measuring measuring the pressure of gas in a container. So let's say in your car. For example, uh, I would say in tire, how do you check the pressure? Using what? Manometer, right? Is that right? Tire pressure. So basically, manometer, it is a device. It's used to measure pressure of the gas in a container or in a closed system. Tire is a closed system and that's how we can measure it. Okay, so it is a device.